Yo, what is going on, my dudes? Welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Today, we're doing it on a plugin called Random Loot Chest. And this is essentially the same thing as supply drops, supply crates, or whatever you want to call them. This is basically the same exact thing. I said, I think it's uh, kind of easier to set up because you can do a lot of this stuff in game. Rather, the config, there's a few things you can change in the config, like messages and a few other uh, background things. But most of the stuff is done in game which is very very helpful and it's free it, that's great too you don't have to pay for it on spigot link is down in the description if you guys want to come check this out because i definitely recommend it i will actually probably be using it on my uhc server that i have open so the main command is rlc and this just brings up the main menu and you can do rlc add item kill all toggle toggle break which is breaking of the chest if you want people to break it or you can force spawn chest so we'll do all of this so to get something in your inventory uh, to add it to your random loot chest list you need to put it in your inventory so I'm just gonna give myself a diamond sword and one and then I'm gonna call it uh, we'll call it random sword random sword there we go all right we'll give myself a random sword and then we'll grab uh, some TNT, we'll grab some more stuff. You can add whatever. And we'll add some potions of harming, weakness. I don't know why you would want to drink that. <laughs> we'll get jump boost and we'll get some lingering regen. So get whatever items you want in your inventory before you do this command. And then you can do RLC and then add item. Now this is the cool part. So it brings up a little GUI so you can add stuff to it. So I did a little test so I can throw that out. So we can have the random sword and then we'll have a few gold stuff. Then we'll put two gold in there and then a stack of TNT and then the potions of course. And you can fill it however you want. And you cannot go to the next page until you have filled up this entire thing. And there is, you can add whatever items you want. and as many items as you want to so it's basically unlimited which is really cool so to add different percent chances you can right click on the item or if you don't right click on it if you don't edit it as you see right there it's already automatically set to 50 percent when you open the chest when it spawns so i'm gonna go ahead and right click on the random sword and i'm actually going to probably remove 10 uh so now it's 40 percent chance so you can remove one you can remove 50% or 10% from whatever it is. So it was 50, I removed 10, so I'm going to remove another 10. So now it is 30% chance. So you can go back. And then the gold ore, we're going to head and add 50. So it'll be 100% for the gold ore. And this gold ore is just going to stay 50. And then the instant damage, so we're going to head and right click on that. So we remove 10, remove 10, remove 10. So it's a 20, we'll make it. We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it a six percent chance for the damage potion, and then you can right-click on the jump boost, and we'll, we'll add fifty to that, so it's a hundred percent. And then the regen, we'll, we'll keep it. Uh, we'll we'll remove we'll remove ten. All right. So and then the TNT, we'll add ten as well. So it's a sixty percent chance. So now we're all done with that. Just go ahead and close your editor, and as you see, the item list has been updated. So now we can force spawn a chest. So we can RCL, RCL, force, force spawn, and then we'll force spawn a chest. And as you see, a chest has been spawned at those coordinates. So you can change the coordinates in the config to the minimum and maximum. I will show you guys in a little bit. So we're gonna head and uh, cheat <laughs> and uh, teleport there. So nine seven three sixty seven negative one seven five. And we've teleported there, and as you see, it comes with little particles as well, which is really nice. So the little flame particles, you can change this on the config, as I'm going to show you guys a little bit later. Go ahead and open it up. As you say, congratulations, we were the first one to the chest. So as you see, we have all these potions of leaping, and then we have regen and gold ore as well. So go ahead and uh, we'll drink the potions of leaping. And boom, there we go. We got a little, little jump boost, jump boost going, and we'll throw down some like, green potions and reach it. So as you see right there, and it, we got, we got all the stuff. And after you get the chest, the chest will disappear, which is actually really nice. So let's go ahead into the config. All right, so here we are in the config, and as you see right here, we have the inventory name. That's what it said. Congratulations. So you can change any of this. 
you can change pretty much everything in the config, which is super handy. And you can add stuff in-game without being in the config, which is very helpful as well. So, we can change the congratulations to... You're awesome. Alright, we'll change it to you're awesome. <laughs> so, then you can change the inventory slots. I'm just gonna leave them the same. You can add them however you want. And then particles if you want the little flame particles. And then the world that you want it to be in. And then here we go. We can set the largest distance of your X coordinate. And then I'm just gonna change this down to about 500 or so. And then the largest distance in your Y, and I'm gonna leave that the same. And then Z, I'm gonna change it back to negative and positive 500. When a chest spawns, you can change the broadcast message. So you can go ahead and change these color codes if you want. I'm just gonna leave them the same. If you want to change this up, that is feel free to do so. And then you can also toggle, as we saw in the help menu, you can toggle if you want players to be able to break the chest or just to loot them. So, uh, and we, so I'm going to leave that the same. And if you want to broadcast the messages on the true, where uh, we, as you saw in game, it says we have looted the chest at this coordinate. If you want to change that true or false, go ahead and change that. And then, it has automatic chest spawn time. So no one has gotten the chest by the, the time that you set right here, it will automatically be despawned. So if you don't want the chest to be despawned, you can set this to false or whatever if you wanted to change it, whatever you want. And then the other really, really cool thing is you can add commands to the chest to be executed when the player loots. So, as you see right now, it is giving the players 100 bucks. So, if you want them to gain XP, or if you want them to give a different item, whatever you want. So, it'll be like XP give, and then we'll do XP give, and then the player, and then we'll give like 50, we'll give 25 XP to that player. This isn't levels. If you want levels, you just add an L. <laughs> you just add an L next to the XP, and that will give them 25 levels. So that is pretty much it. Super simple. Really, really like this plugin. Works great on the very latest version, 1.11.2. And contact the developer if you have any questions, comments, or you can uh, put it in my comment section of my video, and I will let him know. But that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to leave a like and a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.